Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over how much passive income I received from YouTube for the month of September 2020 in ad revenue. But before we get into the context of today's video, guys, if you're new, definitely consider subscribing. I'm on a goal to get to 2,000 subscribers, so all the support I get is much appreciated. And if you fancy going the extra mile and helping me out even more with boosting the YouTube algorithm out, get my channel boosted out to more people, definitely consider liking and also feel free to drop a comment as well. So I'm going to try and keep this video short and sweet, guys. So basically, I'll be showing you how much passive income I've received from YouTube ad revenue in September 2020. The buzzword being passive income, as usually you have to work certain hours to get paid but with youtube it's different you'll create the video once and get paid afterwards after you've fi already finished the work so i'm gonna try and keep it really short so basically i'll show you an overview of september how much i received on the studio app but i'll also show you a bit of a screenshot of the actual youtube studio from on the um, pc as it shows an actual accurate rep representation of how much i've actually got as obviously in the youtube studio mobile app it shows um in dollars so obviously i'm in the uk not america so but I'll just show you that anyway. So we'll go to revenue, then we'll go to estimated revenue and change it from 28 days to September. So as you can see, according to uh, this, I got $30.03. So as you can see, the little peaks there of revenue where it spikes up more than usual. Um, or usually the days on a post. So, But now I'm going to show you on the screen now the YouTube Studio app on the PC. So it should be up right about now. So as you can see, usually... I, Obviously, it's lower than it shows on this, on the YouTube studio. So I received £23.21 and it's up 1% from um, the previous, I'm not sure how it worked, I think it's the previous month. And the CPM, of, which is up 9% to £17.52. Again, it still still shows the spikes, how much I've actually received. But obviously, it's just quite a little bit uh, lower than it is on the, thing you have, on the um, um, YouTube studio app. So that's the revenue guys, it is up a slight bit from the previous month, which is always good. Hopefully I'm trying to scale it a little bit more and get it even, um, try and grow it even larger. So again, now we'll take a look at monetized playbacks, which means how many times an ad was viewed on your video. So I'll go to September, so I received 2000, just under 2,400 monetized playbacks. Again, the spikes where I post, and you can see how many. This is how monetized playbacks. So this is when an ad is shown on your video. So not all videos show ads, even though you might put them on. Just one of you, if, you, if anyone uh, needs to know that. So we'll have a look at the top earning videos. So we'll skip, it always automatically puts it to um, 28 days. So we'll change it to September. So the BP uh, video was my highest viewed video in September, so it made $5.30. So then the second highest was the dividend income video for August, which made $4.60. And a little bit of a jump down after that, my portfolio update from Free Trade episode 27, that got $2.95, just under $3. And again, the next uh, four and five on the list are older videos, which is good. So. Uh, how to use a free trade app, two dollars nine cents, and the money box tutorial. So the how to apps generally do quite well because they're more evergreen content. I think I mentioned that before. So things you go down, the amounts get less, but a lot of videos still earning each month, no matter how old they are. Obviously, one made one cent off one video, so every little helps, I suppose. So what I'm going to have a take you to look at now, guys, is my overall revenue. So I've hit the £60 threshold now to get paid out of YouTube. It's £60 in the UK and $100 in the US. So I'll just go down to revenue and then estimated revenue will go down to this last free, this lifetime. So I've now made $83.23. But again, that is an accurate representation of how much I've actually earned as it's dollars. So on the screen now, you should see the screen off the YouTube uh, studio PC version, which shows it in pounds. So I've received a total of 63 pounds and 80 pence in total. My CPM averaging at 15 pounds, 55 pence. If you don't know what CPM is, I'll sort of discuss that in a, a separate video, just discussing it alone. It is quite an interesting topic. CPM is basically how much ad uh, advertisers are willing to put a uh, payout to put an advert on your video. So that's the short version. I'm not gonna get into too much detail of it. But that is, yeah, so that's how much I've earned, £63.80. So I hope they'll be getting that paid out in the middle of this month. So again, it's not a lot, guys, to start with, but 
it is a start and it is scalable so that's what's keeping me going obviously getting paid anything at the moment is a bonus from this channel so make, make no ends uh, nothing about that that is literally it's, a, it's really really good you can get paid for doing this so i only started as a hobby so yeah guys that is it for the video today N nice short one for you let me know what you think in the comments if you uh, wanted to start a channel if you're recently monetized and if this helps you get more of an accurate understanding that you obviously a lot of youtubers you, you sort of um, have a sort of re expectation thing you can make thousands straight away when you get monetized but that's not the case for well not for me anyway but i know it's the same for a lot of other people as well so yeah guys don't forget to smash the like button as well and subscribe if you haven't and on that note i'm going to leave you to it today take care bye